Horrific crash in Jefferson Park tonight. Two people were killed. Police say a speeding driver ran a red light, slammed into several cars, including a UPS truck, and tried to run away from the scene. Witnesses were able to tackle that driver and hold him down until police arrived. Omar Lewis live at the scene with the latest on what happened. Omar. Yeah, that's right. LAPD officers say that speeding driver clipped the back of a parked UPS truck here on Arlington Avenue, killing both of the passengers inside that car. And then he took off. Neighbors in this area say that speeding is a major issue here in this community. Cell phone video shows the aftermath of a gruesome and deadly scene that Los Angeles police say was caused by a driver speeding at over 100 miles per hour while suspected of being under the influence. It was really bad. Um, the woman that flew off the car, her face was disaster. A rear passenger in the speeding car was killed in the crash and a front passenger was also pronounced dead on the scene after she was ejected from the vehicle traveling southbound on Arlington Avenue near 29th Street in LA's Jefferson Park neighborhood around noon. It collided into the rear of a UPS truck that was making a delivery. Um, the vehicle basically um, after the first collision kind of got lost airborne into oncoming traffic. The sound of the crash sent neighbors running outside. I heard the impact and I was home and when I, I got out, I just saw two people on the ground. Several other cars were involved in the crash, but there were no other serious injuries. After the impact, police say the driver of the speeding car took off on foot, but neighbors were not about to let him get away. So there were some good Samaritans in the area that witnessed the collision. They gave chase and went after him. The suspect was taken to the hospital and is now in police custody. Investigators say they found drug paraphernalia inside the vehicle. According to neighbors, Arlington Avenue is a notoriously dangerous road. It's getting dangerous now. Everybody is speeding. Off of the time, you cannot cross here. I've been living here for a year and I've seen seven to eight accidents. They're now hoping this deadly crash reminds drivers to slow down. I think that they need to put another lights in the street or bumps. A lot of these really bad collisions where people just lost a life can really be avoided if people just slow down a little. And police say that driver is now facing several serious charges that include hit and run as well as murder. That's the very latest here live from Jefferson Park tonight. I'm Omar Lewis. We'll send it back to you in the studio. Omar, thank you.